Hi guys, just a quick video to clear up some confusion that we've been seeing in the industry. There's a, a lot of people out there that are starting to realise they may need bi-directional uh, RCBOs and devices for certain applications. So Beamer um, released a document, you can see, maybe I'll see it up there on the screen, where it gives a lot of advice about the, the markings and the types of devices that should be used. So, so Paul, just run us through that quickly. So just basically, you have to be clear, look for the devices that are either marked or not marked. You can see, hopefully, these devices here clearly marked in our line load or the one on the right there actually with arrows as well so they indicate the direction of power flow and if they indicate the direction you have to respect that power flow so do not connect anything to the terminals if it's an incoming to the terminals marked line or load or that indicates the wrong direction because you could damage the RCBI. So if it was like a solar PV application or something like that where you've got power flowing back from the solar it shouldn't be going into an out terminal it could damage it. So that is a unidirectional device. Yep, so if you're gonna do that application, you need bi-directional devices, but when they exist, they always have done. So you now see these products on the uh, on the screen here. So this, this one marks, again, in or out. So this is unidirectional, but this one, however, the new product from us is not marked by direction. It's only marked for polarity. This is bi-directional device. So if you're gonna wire the solar into the outgoing terminals or what would be the outgoing terminals, this is the product you need. Just be careful because there are people out there claiming there's devices that are bi-directional but they carry the markings of current flow direction so they're clearly unidirectional devices. Thanks for watching. Thank you.